All right, I'm back here at the studio and uh, ready to get back at it. It's cold in here today. It's even, even though it's almost 60 degrees outside, it's cold in here. Um, there's a couple of Indian ladies that I've uh, used their faces over the years and I, I love this young lady here. She was in the movie Little Big Man and uh, Dustin Hoffman comes upon her in the woods uh, when they're attacking a bunch of Indians and she, on a river and uh, she's giving birth to a baby in the bushes and I just love her face and it's funny how it looks different here than it does here but it's the same girl and I just love her innocent looking face um, this lady here was in the movie Black Robe and uh, I love the this pit, these pictures because the shininess of her um, sweat on her face or the oiliness of her skin uh, in the light shows the shapes of her cheeks and chin and lips and all that stuff and so that's a handy thing for structure and so I'm going to use a combination of both of these to come up with a face that uh, will work on this young lady here. And uh, uh, looking at it right now, I'm not really overly happy with the whole piece yet, but I hope I will be eventually. I think I'm going to change my mind on the piece. Hmm. too flat. I want to make it more dimensional. Make the figure just a little smaller. And I'll show you what I'm thinking in just a few seconds here. First I gotta get the clay ready. So I have to uh, soften it up a bit. What I'm going to do is make a head shape and some basic shapes for the uh, thorax and maybe even for the hips. What I want it to do is sort of come away from the board a little bit. I was trying to stay away from that because I thought if I make a mold of it, I can just pour whatever I'm going to do into the mold and not have to take it apart, just you know, pull off the front part. But I'm thinking I'm just going to have to make a multiple mold. Right. Turn my overhead light on because it's a little dark. And I want to get that head up just a little higher. There we go. I cut off the uh, back of the uh, thorax so that the head sort of comes forward just a little bit. couple of screws into this to keep it in place. That's why it's good to take a few days off from a piece because then you start seeing things you don't like. And 
still may not be good, but uh, gotta try it. hips that I'm putting in right now, just sketching them in. like the look of this already. It just has more of a three-dimensional look to it now than it did before. And, uh, and I'm going to just put the center lines in. the arms and I think I'm going to go home because my head's just killing me right now. And, uh, well, it's not killing me, it's just distracting. And I'm just going to get as much done as I can before I head out of here again. Now the elbow would line up with the uh, bottom of the rib cage, which I'm going to put right there. Bring the arm just a little bit forward. Actually, I'm going to put it back a little bit. No, bring it forward. And then I want to make. <coughs> That's not the full length of the arm. I just uh, try to see what it's going to look like. I'm happy with it yet. We'll see how it goes. Now the rib, it, the uh, collarbone won't show through the clothing because the clothing would be a leather dress, but uh, might as well have it there for reference for the, uh, the anatomy. Tell me one time you gotta have the anatomy underneath the clothing. So that's what I'm doing, adding anatomy. The action of the uh, arm is gonna 
compress her breast a little bit and cause it to rise up just a little bit too. Now even though that's not going to show, it's got to show underneath the clothing. If you notice, I'm just blocking in. I'm not uh, paying much attention to the actual anatomy. I'm just uh, blocking in those features that are going to be pressing against the uh, dress. And the dress is going to sit on top of it. decide how far down I'm going to go with the uh, actual anatomy and uh, the figure. All right, that's going to be it for today. I, my head's splitting and it happens occasionally and I just can't concentrate. So I'll pick this up tomorrow and uh, see how far we can get along. Maybe a uh, I've got my light far enough above the uh, clay right now that uh, it'll be okay, but I think it looks pretty good. I feel better about it than I did the, the flat one, and I think that's going to work out a lot better the way I'm working on it now. <clears throat> all right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow.